So I came back. Let me adjust my hat cam real quick. Give me a sec. Alright, that works. Um, can't get this place out of my mind, so I came back. You know, I'm not going to fish the biggest baits today. I'm pulling a little bit of a different setup. For one, they chase Bluego all day and all night in here, so I'm throwing a black dog bait shellcracker. That's a kind of an easy decision for me. I mean, the bait, it doesn't weigh a ton. It catches all sizes of fish. It fishes wonderfully. I love the way it fishes. It rips through grass really well, too. Which, looking at this lake, it's kind of a big deal to me. But I like that assurance of, of trebles. That's what I like on this bait. Because a weedless Huddleston doesn't have the best hookup rates. This bait, I really have not... I've, I mean, I've jumped off... Fish have jumped off this bait. But I've, I've only missed like one or two fish out of... I don't know, 30, 40 fish caught on this bait. If they blow up on this bait, they're going to pretty much get it. I mean, there's, it's really... It's hard to find a spot where you can hit this bait where you're not getting hooked up. Because it's not a big 9-inch bait. It's a small little bait. And there's six hooks on it. So, it's a little fatty. It's a fat bait. And what I'm doing, a mixture of cranking it down and just twitching it, popping it. <clears throat> Cold front moved in. It's only going to get up to like something like, um, I don't know, I think it's going to get to like 62 today. And it was like 83 yesterday. So, it's, it's cold. I just got hit. There we go. Hooked up. Is this a big fish? I can't even... Oh, yes! This is a big fish. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I did not think this fish was big. Oh, my God. This is a toad. This is another Goliath. Yes! Oh! Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Thumbs up. That's another toad. Oh, that's a brute five plus pounder on hat cam. Let me set my hat up real quick. That fish was not even big. There was a dink that hit it, and then I thought it was a dink coming back, so I was like, oh, whatever, it's just a dink. They always pin the blue. No way. No way. Look. Look. Do you see deep in there? That's the little t tag end of a bluegill. It's the little tail of a bluegill in there. Do you see that? It's dope. Look at that thing. Just inhaled it. Oh. Let's get this fish on hook to take some pictures and let her go. Healthy fish, too. Really healthy fish. It's a very, very healthy fish. God, we are catching the giants this weekend. Oh, you see that in there, though? I can zoom. Give me a sec. Right there. It's the little two tail of a red, of a, not a red fish, what am I talking about? Of a, uh, of a bluegill. Man, that's a big fish. All right, we're gonna get her released. I'm pumped. I almost didn't come here this morning because it was just too cold. What do you think that fish is? I'm gonna have to say like six, six pounds. She's out. <laughs>
Oh! Oh my god, that was sick. It's another big boy. It's not as big as the last one, but dang, it's another big boy. Oh, it's a good three, four pound. Haha, <laughs> that was sick. Jesus, that thing came up and just destroyed it. He rolled on it like four times. Oh. Uh, that's, that's a good three pounder, probably. Yeah, three pounds, probably. Ugh. God, this is a great day. Let me take my hat off, make sure I was recording. Oh, thank God. I thought I wasn't recording here for a second. That would have sucked. That was a sweet blow up too. Sorry guys, sorry about this. Let me put my reel under it. Three pounds. Pro I'm gonna say three. That's a pretty good fish. Wait, no bait shell crack. Wow. Get the release on this guy. So what do we have? We got a seven pound sack. And I got a ten pound sack with three fish. Here it goes. What else can we do today? Let's see. Wow, something big just went down over there too. Let's see if I can get out there. Something out there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got him. Is that a brute? Oh, it feels like a big fish. Oh my god, it feels like a big fish. It might be. I can't tell right now. What is going on with that thing? I don't know if it's a big fish or not. I cannot tell whatsoever. No, it's not. It's a nice fish. It's a chunk. But I foul hooked it like crazy. Sorry, dude. Got that salad. No, it's not. I, I, it felt really big because it was coming through the water sideways. But it wasn't so big. Stop. Stop. Getting the hook out of your side. There we go, it's out. That one's out too. Yeah, whatever. Pound, probably. What does that make us right now? Caught a little pounder on a big weight paddle stick right there. Old school hand poured. Um, God, I'm fishing Florida style. I'm running a weightless paddle stick, which, you know, thumps and everything. Kind of like an ultra vibe speed worm. Uh, just weightless over this grass. So, we're going to see what else we could do. I bet we can get more. Prototype big boy bait swim bait. Little paddle, ooh, little paddle tail. Um, on the, uh, on the um, the Demiki Mausurian jig head, uh, it's a Japanese country company, so I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's a sweet, let me take the swim bait off real quick, because I can't show you that just yet, but um, still in the, it's still in the works, but uh, here's that little jig head, it's so sweet, Fish Hound sent me it, it's like a little 1 8 ounce head, but it's like a swivel head, it's meant for shaky head, but guys, if you rig up a little paddle tail swim bait on this thing, it has because it has it has the best little head wobble. It can wobble all around, but watch if you if you look at it, it can't go farther than that. The split ring and the way it's configured won't let it go farther than that. So it, I mean, I'm sure if I just rigged it, if it was able to, it would just spin. But since you can't do farther than that. It won't, so it just it just wobbles like crazy. It has the it, it almost just goes like that because there's no weighted hook on it to keep it level. 
but it wobbles like crazy. I'll, I'll do more on this jig head soon, but th I, I'm in love with this thing right now. So I'll get back to you.